what is up everyone it's me josh and welcome back to the channel we're doing a thing that my girlfriend wanted me to do because she wants to compare the personalities she wants to see and get to know us better get to know us it seems like i have a lot more personalities than only one <laughs> so today we're gonna take the 16 personality test and uh, let's just jump into it i've done this before and i'm uh, excited to see if I get the same new friends uh yeah kind of I do like I, I don't meet a lot of new friends outside but I do make a lot of new friends on the internet so that's uh I'll, I'll, I'll do that I'll pump it up a bit more I make a new, I'll make a lot of new friends not a lot but I make new friends you spend a lot of free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest um yeah <laughs> i do like yesterday i couldn't go to sleep before i was actually reading all the lore from alien the alien movies because i've been playing alien isolation so i need to do that i needed to know everything what was going on next question seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too it depends on the person so neutral i want to say it depends on the person sometimes i cry because they cry but it, it, it depends Depends on the person and the situation. Obviously, I don't know about you. You often make a backup plan for a backup plan. Nope. <laughs> I usually don't make plans at all. I like to live in the now, do whatever I want, whenever I want. You usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. I want to say agree because uh, I worked in a restaurant before and when I was a waiter, I had a lot of control over everything. I stayed calm. I didn't uh, like get exhausted or anything and I love the job. So I'm going to say agree just because of that and uh, all of the other, I don't really stress a lot to be honest at social events you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know yep i tend to stay with my herd i tend to stay alongside them because i know them and the other peoples i don't know make me scared <laughs> if that makes sense you prefer to completely finish one project before you start on another Ooh, nope no i have so many projects man like seriously i start a project like a, mu a musical project though i start a song and then i start another song and then i coexist with those two songs it's the same when i'm watching anime or series i have like 10 on my watch list and i watch them uh, not at the same time of course because that would be chaos <laughs> But I watch them every now and then. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Depends on my mood. I know a lot of people tend to like stick to one series and run through that series just so they're done with it. I do that sometimes if the series is very good. But yeah, you're very sentimental. I agree. I am very sentimental and emotional. So you like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists? No, <laughs> I don't organize at all. Yes, I do. I am. I have a bit of OCD and some sort of uh, stuff, but schedules and stuff like that. Mm, stream schedule. Yes. Haha. <laughs> if you want to check out my stream, there's a link in the doobly doo. Also, Press the like button if you're liking this video and smash that subscribe button. Let's move on. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall ability and knowledge. Yes, this speaks so hard to me. Like if I if I try to do one thing and it doesn't turn out the way I want it to turn out, I get <laughs> I get frustrated. And sometimes I even just delete the whole project take a day off and start from scratch the other day because I need to calm myself down. With the BBD that I have uh, I and the imposter syndrome that it is nailing my brain all the time, this is 100% agree. Oof. <laughs> you feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. No, 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 no. Who does that? <laughs> 
a lot of people do that but i would never do that give me a couple of drinks and maybe i'll do it i am not the kind of person that just walks up to people and start talking to them if there's something important to say of course if the, if it like this just looking uh, comfortable no just looking interesting it's not gonna happen i'm not gonna walk up to you and talk to you nope you're not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analyze analyze as a creative work i am i am very interesting in in uh, discussing various topics in creative work creative work is what i live for that's why i'm a musician that's why i do what i do or else i would not be here i wouldn't exist this josh wouldn't be here you're more inclined to follow your head than your heart depends on the situation really depends on the situation i do both i do think logical here and then sometimes you know <laughs> i like to think logical but sometimes a heart is taking all the control you know you usually prefer to doing what you like in at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routines yes i am very very at this do what i want whenever i want it or else i will be unhappy i like some routines like my stream routines and stuff like that but other than that i just want to do whatever i want when i want it also dinner routines are pretty nice like food routines yeah but nothing else i don't know you rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet i really overthink my situations all the time i feel like if i meet you the first time i'm 100 percent sure that i'm gonna walk away from that meeting or our gathering and I think these people didn't like me they did not like me even though we had like a long conversation but and we had a good time but i i will i wouldn't think you would like me i don't know i would think i made a, a bad impression and uh I was annoying or something like that. It's just me. This is me. You're all finding out who I am today. You enjoy participating in group activities. Depends on the activity. If we're gaming, if we're doing a lot of stuff outside of the house, uh, depends on what we're doing. I don't. I don't see like. I don't see partying as a, a group activity because that's just party but i do enjoy some of it so i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna stay neutral just so we're kind of here we're like bub up bub 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 <laughs> we say that in norwegian i don't think you say that in english and say you like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending yes sorry <laughs> yes i do i do like to watch a movie i do read a bit but not too much uh, but i do like to make my own ending or think about where this movie is going because if i kind of i i, I kind of try to pick up clues especially if there's a like a thriller movie or something special is going and gonna happen or anything like that um like oh, which movie was that i don't remember the name of the movie but there was a movie about a man and there was this computer that he made that could encrypt and make uh, your the one that passed on talk back to you and the whole movie was around that he was living in this scientific building and stuff like that and we all the entire movie was just practically me trying to find out if uh, uh what happened and what was the ending so yeah you like books to make yeah i do your happiness comes from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments yes um, um i do i do like uh, helping others but i do like helping myself and it makes me happy when i come uh, when it makes me happy when I actually get to help them and it makes me also happy when I get to help myself accomplish things or actually do what I'm supposed to do your happiness comes from helping from blah, blah, blah. I'm neutral I will say I'm neutral to that you're inter interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next um not really 
I am very pleased with the things that I like. Um, so I I stick to what I like, like anime, music, gaming, and uh, yeah, and band stuff. And uh, I I I want to try new stuff, but I don't find it difficult to try new stuff because. <laughs> I don't, I also, I want to try new stuff, but I don't have new stuff that I want to try. That may even make sense. I'm not making sense right now. So no, <laughs> you're prone to worrying that things will turn out for the worse. This is hundred percent. My brain, every time something goes bad, my brain just goes swoop, opens the book and just like, this is all the worst thing that's going to happen right now. If I feel a little pain on my uh, in my hand or chest or anything like that, I start worrying that I'm gonna die. <laughs> I over overthink. I over overthink my thoughts again, and it's super bad. You avoid leadership uh, roles in group settings. I will say I'm in neutral to that. It depends on what we're doing. Of course, if I have a lot of knowledge to that certain point uh, to the certain thing that we're doing i tend to go into the leadership role i try or i try to do it to help at least so maybe maybe yeah no I, I'll, I'll be neutral i think i'm neutral you're definitely not an artistic type of person no no not at all i don't make music i don't write poems or poetry or uh, do my own uh, artwork and stuff like that. Or I actually don't do artwork, <laughs> but I try. I bought this vacuum tablet so I can try to actually draw again because I draw a lot when I was a child. So disagree. I am an art artistic person. If you know me, I play a lot of guitar. You can see my artistic things right there. <laughs> Don't ask me this certain question, dude. You think the world would be better, a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings. Mm, mm, like, I'm, I'm pun not intended, but uh, rationally, yes, but also no, because uh, we can't, we can't push away our feelings. Our feelings are there, so we need to find a neutral balance with where we can do both actually that's my opinion you prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax um yeah sometimes sometimes i do sometimes i do not do my chores at all because I'm a lazy bum, <laughs> but that, that's just how it is. Sometimes I want to do chores like today. I vacuumed the entire thing. I cleaned my whole desk and my keyboard and everything. And then I relaxed. So sometimes yes, sometimes no, but more in the yes area. I would say, I think, Ooh, 40% in, Ooh, you enjoy watching people argue. No, who, who likes watching people argue not at all no i tend to avoid drawing attention to myself yes i don't like the attention to uh, to be on me if it's not like a concert or anything i tend to avoid drawing attention to myself like that your mood can change very qu quickly i have to say uh yes i'm i'm actually doing my best to kind of change this regulate this make it a bit more safe for me and uh, so i will do this one the agree one because with the bbd sometimes it's like my mood can be very happy and some sh shit can happen just one little thing and i can completely switch to bad mood but at uh, in the last i don't know month or two i'm trying to regulate that i've been reading the books i've been trying to do this uh, mindfulness and everything i have this workbook with the bbd that i'm trying to figure out how and how i can overcome and get better basically you lose patience with people who are who are not as efficient as you <laughs> oh <laughs> yes i do I actually do. 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and say no because I actually do. If you're not as efficient as me, I get uh, a bit frustrated. But I also am trying to work on that because not everybody can be the same, right? We're not all the same. So I'm gonna say I I'm oh wait I agree, but I'm trying to get better. That was my first in instinct when I read that question. You often end up doing things that at the last possible moment. Not really. Like I do tend to start with things and maybe at the last moment I do the last bit of it, but I don't tend to wait until the last possible moment. So I'm going to say I disagree. Um, You have always been fascinating, uh, fascinated by the question of what, if anything, happens after that yes i am very very interesting interesting i'm very very interested in what happens after death i'm also extremely afraid of dying because i don't want to die i do i, I don't want to die and i do want to die <laughs> contradicting i know but it's scary what happens you living this life until until you make okay you live this life you make all these precious memories and you die and after that nothing happens you you live you just live and you can't remember that you lived after that so for me it's terrifying it actually is so yeah if anything happens that uh, you yeah. I am fascinated by that. I do. I usually prefer I you usually prefer to be around others rather than your own. No, I like to be by myself. I really like to be by myself. I, I like the comfort of being alone. Also, of course, with my lovely, lovely um, girlfriend. I love to be with Lulu a lot. I'd rather be around with her and alone by myself that's more comfortable you become bored or lose interest when the discussion get highly theoretical hmm. depends on what so i'm gonna go it really depends on what the questions are very weird sometimes so it depends on what i'm gonna go neutral i don't have anything more to say about that with that question right there you find it easy to empathize with a person who experienced a uh whose experiences are very different from yours mm, i do agree i do agree i can empathize i can be there for them i try my best to understand their their feelings and everything i really want to help so you, i i find i do find it easy you usually pass oh <laughs> past i'm talking nor english here apparently as uh, we do in the Norway, I um, do not talk like this uh, in general. So uh, you usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. No, I do not. I like to do the decisions and we stick to that decision. Hopefully, if nothing bad happens on the way, you know, we never know what's going to happen. You you really second guess the choices that you may. I second guess everything that i do i second guess my life so i totally disagree with that after a long exhausting week um a lively social event is a lively social event is just what you need after a long exhausting week i want to stay home and play video games that's what i want to do like a real gamer so i disagree with that <laughs> You enjoy to go to art museums. Dude, I love it. The only thing that I don't like about art museum is uh, that you don't have time to enjoy the scenery. You don't, there's so much to enjoy. It's too much. Like in, in uh, we were in the museum in St. Petersburg once and I, rem I remember, I can't remember the whole fact about it, but if you were to stand and watch the, and admire the art for a minute or 30 seconds, something like that, you would be dead until b before you even ended the whole museum it takes many years to like study and watch all of the art in the whole museum so wow yeah nope no but i really i do enjoy i do enjoy it you often have a hard time understanding people's feelings depends so i'm gonna i'm gonna put this disagree middle disagree depends if they can explain to me yes i i can i can understand but if you're just thinking that i can read your emotions and i'm a mind reader no no you like to have a to-do list for each day we already been through this i don't do to-do list 
No, get that thing out of here. You barely feel insecure. Uh, I feel insecure right now at this very moment, but I'm doing it right. I'm, I'm here. So I, I strongly disagree here. You avoid making phone calls. Depends on uh, to who? To whom? Not to who? To whom? Um, so uh, no, I don't avoid making phone calls. I avoid picking up the phone when people call me, but that's a whole nother deal. Also, if the phone number is something I don't recognize, uh, I'm not going to pick it up. And if we're talking through text and everything like that, just text me. Don't call. Just text me and ask me before you call if we can, if we can have a conversation through the phone call because or else my anxiety is going to spike for some reason i don't know why i didn't create me as the one that created me <laughs> So no, you often spend a lot of time trying to understand uh, views that are very different from your own. Ooh, um, I don't spend a lot of time on it, but I spend a certain a little time on it. I do just a little bit. So yeah, but no, yeah, but no, but yeah. Okay, let's move on. In your social circle, you're often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities. I do not do that. I'm very bad at trying to find social or to do social stuff with people. I'm very bad at contacting my friends. I do contact them to like maybe do to game together or something like that. But I also feel like I'm a bother sometimes. So I tend to stay away. So I'm gonna disagree with that. If your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. Uh, depends on the plan and depends on what interrupted it. So um, gonna disagree with that. If it's something important and that's why it's interrupted, I'm not gonna stand here, here and say that I gotta go back, let's say to work if uh, my mom got she crashed or something and she's in the hospital i'm not gonna be like hey i gotta go back to work what the hell that's not gonna happen so uh i disagree Ooh, all right you're still bothered by the mistakes that you made a long time ago yes yes is there anything more that can explain my brain more than this it's this <laughs> But yeah, I am. Um, I, I totally agree with that. I contemplate all my mistakes every night, every time in the shower, every time in the corner at night. You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. I do contemplate the existence of humans and the meaning of life. Because why are we here? Are we here to just die? Are we here to create something of us? Why? Tell me. Tell me why. <laughs> Your emotions controls you more than you control them. I am working on that. Uh, but yes and no at the same time. So I'm going to agree like maybe. Maybe I'm gonna agree right there because I have BBD. My emotions tend to control a lot of me, but I'm trying to work it over so I can be more rational with my emotions and my reactions. You take great care not making people look bad even when it is completely their fault. I don't want to make people look bad uh but if they're they can't see their own fault i try to explain to them why i'm upset and why what they did upset me so i'm gonna disagree with that wait i take it yeah i don't want to make them look bad so i agree your personal work style is closer to spontaneous burst of energy than organized Yes, this is me. This is completely me. I'm like I've said plenty of times uh, before. I'm trying to uh, become better at this because if I'm going to do this content creation thing that I'm doing, I need more organized organize time to get everything on schedule for all of you beautiful people that likes to watch my face uh, so um yes i agree with this but i'm trying to get better when someone thinks highly of you you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you all the time all the time i do this i it, it's 
basically because I'm disappointed about myself and about my decisions in life uh, but also at the same time I'm not disappointed in myself because with all the things that I've did all the things all the pieces of the puzzles made me who I am today and I feel like I am a good person hopefully so uh it will i am i'm really afraid that people will just leave me so i uh, yeah i agree with this you will love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time um I'm neutral with this. I like working with people. Like I said, I was a waiter. I like to be around people. I like to have fun at work, at least have somebody to talk to. If there's no social matter at work, uh, I'm just going to get bored. So uh, neutral with that because I want both. Oh, basically, I disagree. You be uh, believe that pondering abstract philosophy. Do you believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time? No, it's not a waste of time. It's very fun and uh, it can be frustrating, but that's all. It can be frustrating, but it can be a lot of fun. So I totally disagree with that. You feel more drawn to places with busy and bustling atmosphere than quiet, intimate pace, pa paces, places. I do not like a lot of sound. I do not like a lot of people. So I totally disagree with this. I would like a quiet place for me and my friends to be so we can talk and actually hear what we're talking about. Do you like to go to those clubs where the music goes like <laughs> <laughs> no, and you can't talk or bars that the music is so loud that you can't that you you basically have to shout to each other each other it's frustrating turn down the music i want to talk to my friends and drink my beer <sighs> i disagree <laughs> got a bit emotional there i'm sorry uh you know at first glance how someone is feeling no i don't i need people to uh to be a bit direct with me i i, I can't see that people are upset or something or they're feeling sad or anything like that but i need to ask questions uh, or at least try to understand them better so i can uh, m maybe help them feel better or just stay away if they need that you know so I'm gonna be neutral, basically. I think that's that's the thing. You often feel overwhelmed. Yeah, no. So natural, neutral? I don't know. Am I feeling overwhelmed right now by this question? <laughs> the pressure of answering the right question or the right uh, answer, I mean. Uh, you often feel overwhelmed. No, I don't actually. I, ca I gotta agree minimal because I do feel overwhelmed sometimes when there's too much emotions going on in my body, but that's the only part. When, and when there's conflict and stuff like that, I feel overwhelmed, but not rest of the time. So yeah, I'm going to put this. You complete things methodically without skipping any steps. Um, depends on what it, what it is. I don't have a, a, a cheat and go like one, two, three, four, five. I don't do that. If it's a like Ikea, Ikea ikea uh stuff then you have to do it or you're gonna uh, your whole the thing is gonna get fucked you know everybody knows that so neutral <laughs> you are very intrigued by things labeled as controversial i do like controversial topics um i do like to discuss them uh, but also depends on what it is so it, it depends basically so neutral here too you would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. Yes, if they needed it more than me, if the, if it was a job or basically if it was if somebody came to me and gave me one million dollars and somebody didn't have a job or anything at all and don't have income and uh, the next in line was uh, them, I would totally, totally give them that. Like, yes, you struggle with deadlines. Uh, disagree <laughs> i don't i don't i don't struggle with deadlines at all you feel confident that things will work out for you i would say neutral because i'm i'm i think it's gonna be all right with me i hope so i hope i don't end up in a ditch one day and get become homeless so but neutral i i i think no li little over neutral i'm a male thank you and let's see the results oh my god we're in the end do we have the same as the last time 
um, we didn't do this test. I've never taken this test on the internet before to show all of you, y'all. And uh, I'm very excited. Let's see if I got the, the same one. I did. <laughs> I did. Okay, let's see. Your personality is mediator. I got mind. The third, uh, I'm 69. A a funny number. I'm uh, introverted. Uh, the straight energy. How direct are mental? Uh, intuitive. Intuitive. Yeah. The straight uh, nature. I have feelings. Yeah. My tactics, judging, prospecting, yep. Identity, this trait underpins all others showing how confident we are in our ability and decision. Turbulent, 72%. Yes, this is me. Here we go. Introduction. Although they may seem quiet, unassuming, mediators have vibrant, passionate inner lives, creative and imaginative. They happily lose themselves in daydreams, inventing all sorts of stories and conversations in their minds. Sounds like me. These personalities are known for their sensitivity. Mediators can have profound emotional response to music, art and nature and the people around them. Yeah, I cry a lot when I listen to music or movies or anything like that. I feel it. I really get this uh, go goosebumps, goosebumps everywhere. Yeah, I really like that. Idealistic and empath empathic uh, mediators long for deep soulful, soulful relationship. They feel called to help others. Yeah, I do. But because this personality uh, personality types makes up such a such a small portion of the population mediators may sometimes feel lonely or invisible adrift in a world that doesn't seem to appreciate the traits that make them unique i do feel a lot a lot lonely sometimes lonely a lot sometimes grammar hello <laughs> do i know to, how to speak all that is gold does not glitter not all those who wander are lost the old that is strong does not wither deep roots are not reached by the for frost Alkin, my man the gift of empathy meteors share a sincere curiosity about the depths of human nature introspective to the core they're exquisitely attuned to their own thoughts and feelings but they yearn to understand the people around them as well meteors are compassionate and non judgmental always willing to hear another person's story when someone opens up to them and turns them from for comfort they feel honored to listen and be of help i really do i really enjoy people when they want to be around me i really enjoy that they turn to me for help because i want to help as much as i can for mediators the ideal relations ship of any kind is one which both people feel comfortable sharing not just their wildest hope and dreams but also their secret fears and vulnerabilities this is very important for me actually I, I i want people to be completely sincere with me about everything if we're gonna grow as a couple or in a relationship we have to trust each other that's my opinion and that stuff Empathy is among the, uh, this personality's type greatest gift, but at times it could be a liability. The troubles of the world weigh heavily on mediator's shoulders, and these personality can be vulnerable, internalizing other people's uh, negative moods or mindset. Unless they learn to set boundaries, mediators may feel overwhelmed by just how many wrongs there are that need to be set right this is extremely on point with me because uh, uh, a bit a while ago not a while ago but a long time ago i stopped reading the news and stuff like that because everything was just so depressing everything was going wrong nobody helped each other the richer were getting richer the poor was getting poorer everybody was dying and blah 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 it was just a pile of shit 
everywhere and i couldn't take it i got overwhelmed by the news i got depressed by the news and the whole system of it just gave me this heavy feeling that i didn't want so i just pushed it away that's my boundary though speaking through a few things that make mediators more uneasy than pre uh, pretending to be someone they aren't they aren't uh, with their sensitivity and their commitment to authentic authenticity people with this personality type uh, tend to crave opportunities for creative self-expressions uh, yeah yeah it comes as no surprise then that many famous mediators are poets writers actors and artists am i one of them <laughs> They can't help but muse about the meaning and purpose of life, dreaming up all sorts of stories, ideas, and possibilities along the way. I do. I do write a lot of poems. I don't. I write a lot about my feelings. I don't do a lot of storytelling, but I'm trying. I'm trying to expand on that so I can tell more stories in my songs or poetry. Through these imagin imaginative landscape, mediators can explore their own inner nature as well as their place in the world. While this is a beautiful trait, these personalities sometimes show tendency to daydream and fantasize rather than take action to avoid feeling frustrated, unfulfilled, or incapable. Uh, mediators need to make sure that they take steps to turn their dreams and ideas into reality all right in search of a calling oh my god in search of a calling people with this personality type tend to feel directionless and stuck until they connect with a sense of purpose for their lives for many mediators this purpose has something to do with uplifting others and their ability to feel other people's suffering as if it was their own, were their own. While mediators want to help everyone, they need to focus their energy and effort, otherwise they can end up exhausted. It is true, I, I uh, take a lot of these feelings that all people have and I, it builds up in me. So something is something I, I take your emotions in me and I feel it like a reality. So yeah, I don't know what more I can say about that. Fortunately, like flowers in the spring, mediators, creativity and idealism can bloom even after the darkest of seasons. Yeah. Although they know the world will never be perfect, mediators still care about making it better however they can. This is quite uh, quite belief in doing the right thing may explain why these personalities so often inspire compassion, kindness and beauty wherever they go huh interesting strength and weaknesses empathic mediators don't uh, just care about other people in abstract sense these personalities can actually feel another person's emotions like i said earlier actually uh, from joy and elation elation yeah to sorrow and regret because of this sensitivity mediators tend to be thoughtful kind-hearted and they hate the idea of hurting anyone even unintentionally i really do i feel so bad when i hurt somebody i don't like it at all generous mediators rarely enjoy succeeding at the other people's expense they feel called to share the good things in their lives give it, give credit where it's due and uplift the people around them these personalities want to contribute to a world where every voice is heard and no one no one's needs go unmet yeah yeah i want everybody to get hurt we need to coexist or else it's gonna go to shit <laughs> open-minded tolerant and accepting mediators trying not to judge anyone else's beliefs lifestyles or decisions this is a personality that prefers compassion to fault finding and many mediators feel em empathy even for those who who have done wrong because they're so accepting mediators often become confidence 
for their own friends, for their friends and loved ones, and occasional for total strangers. Hmm. Yeah, I I feel so drawn to this because everything they're saying is actually really true. This is very interesting. I'm very happy we did this. Creative mediators love to see things from unconventional perspective. Few things can uh, give them more pleasure than allowing their minds to wander through all sorts of ideas and possibilities and daydreams. It's no wonder then that many mediators are drawn to creative pursuits and that this this personality type is well represented among writers and artists hmm i do allow my brain to wander a lot but it's a lot of of my stuff <laughs> of my end you know what i'm saying passionate <laughs> passionate like really passionate about reading this apparently <laughs> when an idea or movement captures their imagination mediators want to give their whole heart to it people with this personality type may not always be outspoken but that doesn't diminish their strong feelings for a cause that speaks to their beliefs and convictions damn right damn right i have when i have ideas you can ask my, you can ask lulu like seriously when i have an idea or i yeah i come up with something i hear a melody in my head that i need to play on guitar and that i need to put down so i don't miss it or anything i do it a hundred percent everything else just disappears where we can be making food we can be doing something and i'm like i gotta go do this and she she knows me she loves me i hope <laughs> and she just i understand just go do it and i do it and i i sometimes i practically just vanish from the face of the earth for like three hours i'm not even kidding idealistic meteors strive to follow their con conscience even when doing the right thing is easy or convenient they rarely lose sight of their desire to live a meaningful life purpose filled life on that one that helps others and leaves the world a better place i really want to leave this world a better place i i'm trying to do that with my music and with the content creation that i'm and with the content creation that I'm currently doing right now. I'm trying, trying, <laughs> I'm trying to do whatever I can to bring a smile upon your face. Or maybe we resonate with each other with the feelings that I have, with the emotion, or my mental health. And I can help in whatever way I can. I would love to. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I would always love to help. If you want to join our Discord, the Discord is also in the description. Uh, description down below so go check that out join us have a talk with us and i'll help in whatever way i can let's see my weaknesses hmm? my weakness <laughs> unrealistic nothing in this world is perfect and that can be a difficult truth for a mediator to accept yep <laughs> people with this personality type can be hopeless romantics with rose-colored vision of what their lives should be like should be like why am i saying it like that i don't know this can set mediators up for disappointment when reality inevitably falls short of their dreams it's true it is so true Ooh, okay, self-isolating. Meteors long to connect with others, but they don't always know how. Like it, that sentence said it all. I don't know how to connect with people I want to, but I feel like a burden. Let's just continue. Especially in new environments, mediators may be uh, reluctant to put themselves out there. They're in ways that would help them make new friends or become involved in a new community. As a result, people with this personality type may sometimes feel lonely or isolated. Yes. Yes, 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 I do. And that's, it just spoke to me. It's one of my greatest weaknesses. You all know my weakness now. I groove tonight. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> this will be on YouTube. Everybody will know. Unfocused mediators, imaginative, introspective introspective nature doesn't always lend itself to productivity many mediators can be uh, can get frustrated by how difficult they find it to buckle down and get things done the problem isn't that they are incapable rather is that they run into problems when they become so caught up in the different ideas and ideals that they fail to commit a course of action yeah I'm 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 blowing my my own mind here because 
there's a lot of good points here that I haven't thought about. And when I read them again, I'm like, this is so on point. <laughs> Emotionally vulnerable. The emotional atonement of these personalities is among their greatest strength. But unless mediators establish boundaries, they can be risk of absorbing other people's negative moods and or attitudes. Yep, that's what I had growing up my entire life. Emotionally vulnerability is was one of my greatest uh, weaknesses in uh, the earlier days of my life. But I have uh, grown and I have set a lot of boundaries to myself because I need peace, please. Desperate to please. Conflicts tends to be stressful for mediators who yearn for harmony and acceptance. When someone dislikes or disapproves of them, these personality may become fixated on trying to clear the air, change that person's mind. Unfortunately, mediators mediators desire to please others can drain their energy, eclipse their inner wisdom and their awareness of their own needs. That is uh, very true. I I yearn for harmony and acceptance acceptance i do a lot uh also this like this personality with my bbd it's like it's coexisting <laughs> very coexisting because there's a lot of the same uh i feel like a lot of the same from my uh, bbd and my personality is like it's very intertwined so they're they're working somehow together and uh and when i f not fix my bbd when i get better with it i think it's gonna be a beautiful beautiful thing self-critical you only have to say that and i know <laughs> mediators believe in their unique potential and they desperately want to live up to it yep all the time there it's not perfect it's not gonna work <laughs> but this can cause them to have an unrealistic expectations for themselves <laughs> God. When mediators fail to live up to these visions, they may accuse themselves of being useless or selfish or woefully inaccurate. Inaccurate? Inadequate. Taken too far, this self-criticism can discourage mediators, leading them to give up on even their dearest dream. I had so many times in my life trying to give up music because I feel like I didn't get anywhere. I feel like I was my music was just garbage, basically. And there's so many times times in my life I've been there it's like I should just sell all my guitars and all my music stuff and never do music again but here I am still doing music almost 30 Woo -hoo -hoo. feeling self-critical again critical right now before going to the next session scroll up to uh, reread your strength and let them no I don't need that let's just jump to conclusions everyone conclusion Few personality types are as poetic and kind-hearted as mediators. With their unique gifts, mediators can overcome all sorts of challenges and obstacles and brighten the lives of those around them in the process. I hope so. I hope I can bring joy and love to everyone around me. Yet, the mediator can be tripped up in areas where idealism and altruism altruism are more of a liability than an asset when it comes to finding or keeping a partner making friends pursuing a meaningful career or planning for the future people with these personality ties may need to consciously develop their weaker traits and gain new skills even as they draw on their many strengths i feel like that too i feel like i i i always tend i always want want to grow you know what i'm saying i always i want to grow my weaker sides of things so i can become the best man that i can the secret life of a mediator what you have read so far is just an introduction into the complexity of the mediator's personality types you may have muttered to yourself you may have muttered to yourself, whoa, this is accurate. It's a little creepy. Or finally, someone who understands me. You may have even asked, how do they even know more about me than the people I'm closest to? Because of course, you guys have studied this. So I don't, this is not a trick. I don't question it at all. <laughs> you felt understood because you were. We studied how many years think and what they need to reach in their full potential in the process. We learned how people with your personality can overcome even their greatest personal challenges. But 
To overcome these challenges, you need to have a plan. A personal roadmap. Can you give me a map? That would be amazing. <laughs> In this introduction, you've learned how meat eaters tend to behave in the certain circumstance circumstances of what their uh, their key strengths and weaknesses are. So, oh my God, we came to the end. We are a mediator. We found out my personality today. Did you all guess what kind of uh, personality I would land on? What kind of personality do you think I was? Leave it in the comments down below. I am. I am super happy with the, this. It's so good i i feel more awake to myself somehow and uh it's it's really cool also if you all want to take this test you can join our discord and we can uh, compare the person uh, personality traits that we have with each other that would be really cool i am very happy that i became a mediator i I think I've taken this test two or three times before and I have always been a mediator. So I'm still here. I'm still an artist and a poet, apparently. And this is what my life is going to be. I need to work on my uh, weaknesses and grow them stronger. But I'm always here to grow stronger as a person. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Love you all.